Okay, well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to begin this series on systems of linear inequalities by talking about graphing linear inequalities. Uh, so I have an example set up right now. You can take a look and you have the line y equals x plus 1. And then this is the line right here. Now, that is a linear equation. All right, so let me, let me actually put, usually when you graph these, you're going to put the equation right next to the line. Now what we're going to do is a system of linear inequalities is going to be a shading. And we're going to shade above or below. Now right now I don't have a linear inequality, I just have the equation. So let me, let me give you a linear inequality to show you what that looks like. Notice the difference between the two. We still have the y, we still have the x plus 1, but in the linear inequality we have an inequality symbol. We have a less than or equal to sign. So what this is going to be is this is going to be a shading. We just have to figure out what side of the line to shade. So here's the easiest way of doing this. All right, you're going to pick a point on each side of the line. Now if you can pick the origin, that would be the best point. So here's the origin right here. So that's at 0, 0. And then pick another point, let's say at, let's pick an, an easy one, let's say 0, 4. Now what you're going to do is you're going to plug both of these points into this inequality to see which ones work. Only one of them will work. Okay, so if they both don't work, something's wrong, or if they both do work, something's wrong. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, and we'll call this the check. So let's write check. Okay, so 0, 4. Let's see what happens when we plug that in for x and y. So we're going to get 4 less than or equal to 0 plus 1. So is 4, this is your y, is that less than or equal to 1? And that's a no. All right, so let's check the other point. We had 0, 0. Okay. And then that would be 0 less than or equal to, now here's your x, which is 0, plus 1. In other words, 0 less than or equal to 1. And that checks, so the answer is yes. Now whenever you find the section that's a yes, that's the side you shade. So if we go back to the graph over here, we're going to shade towards the point that worked. So 0, 0, the origin, was the point that worked, means every single point on that side will work. And you can check this. Like if we took, like, um, let's do here. This is 3, 1. All right, so let's see if that one works. All right, so y is 1 less than or equal to x is 3 plus 1. So is 1 less than or equal to 4? Yes. In fact, if you check any point on that side, it's going to work. So let's go ahead and shade this side. Now notice that shading uh, covered up my points, and that's fine. But what you're going to do is shade everything below this line because these are the points that are going to work. So there's our first example. Let's take a look at another one. Okay, in our next example, we're going to graph this line, y minus x greater than or equal to negative 2. Uh, it is in general form. It's not in the slope-intercept form. Uh, the x and y might be switched, but uh, still pretty much general form. Now what we're going to do is first go through the procedure for graphing linear inequality. So let's take a look at step one. Okay, step one of our procedure would be to draw the graph of the equation. Basically replace the inequality with the equal sign. So let's replace the inequality, the greater than or equal to sign, with an inequality. Now I put the equation right over here. Uh, now let's set up the graph. So let's draw our axes. Next, we'll graph the line y minus x equals negative 2. Now you can do this using the intercept method. For example, if you let y equal 0, in other words, cover up x, or I'm sorry, cover up y, which means we let y equal 0 again. So then what would x have to be? Well, if you solve for x, that's going to be a 2. So then let's graph 2 comma 0. So that would be right there. Next, we'll cover up x, which basically means you let x equal 0. Oops. And then solve for y. If you solve for y, you see that y has to be negative 2. So we'll graph 0, negative 2. Puts us right there. 
Now we have our, our two intercepts. We'll connect the dots to form the line. Okay, we've graphed our line. Uh, let me move the equation a little bit closer to the, the line. Okay, so now we just have to pick a point, two points at least, and figure out what side we're on. So now since we don't go through the origin, let's pick that point. So let's pick 0, 0. Let's come over here, 0, 0. So this is our check. All right, so we have, where's my inequality? All right, so my inequality is right there. So we're going to 0, minus 0, greater than or equal to negative 2. Well, that's 0 greater than or equal to negative 2. Does that work? It does. 0 is bigger than negative 2. So this point works. Just to verify, let's pick a point on the other side of the line to make sure it does not work. So let's pick, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, negative 1. Okay, so next point, so 4, comma, negative 1. So that's y minus x, so y minus x greater than or equal to negative 2. Well, that's negative 5 greater than or equal to negative 2. And this is not true. Negative 5 is not bigger than negative 2. So this side will not work. So we will shade this side. OK, I did forget to actually write down the step. So after you were to graph the line, we, we did go ahead and do uh, step 2 in our procedure, which is to pick a test point. Uh, so let me write that down as step 2. Step two, pick a test point in each half plane. Now, the, a line, okay, this line right here, split my graph into two parts. The upper part, which I'm going to call the up half plane, upper half plane, and then down here, which is the lower half plane. So you're going to pick a test point in each half plane. We did. We picked the origin, and then we picked this point over here, 4, comma, negative 1. All right, so now we'll go on to step three. And our last step. If the inequality is satisfied, which means that when you p uh, plug in the test point like we did over here, it worked, then you shade the side containing that test point. If the test point does not satisfy the inequality like we did uh, down here, 4, negative 1 did not satisfy the inequality, you would shade the other side. Uh, now, if that happens where, it's at, where you end up having to shade the other side, make sure you go and pick a point on that side as well to check um, which we picked the origin. Now, in step two, when it says pick a test point each half plane, if you can pick the origin, it's probably best you do. It is the easiest one uh, because any time you start plugging in zeros, things pretty much go away. Um, but there you go. That's how you graph linear inequality. So go ahead and practice some more. And if you have any questions, please send an email or leave a comment.